Welcome to Integrative Medicine Perspective. I'm Dr. Wendy Liu. An old English proverb: "An apple a day keeps the doctor away," puts apples on the pedestal of healthy foods. But lately, blueberries seem to take over apples as the supermodel of healthy foods. Are blueberries really better than apples? Should we replace apples with blueberries? On the pedestal of healthy foods, both blueberries and apples are very rich in antioxidants. This includes antioxidant vitamins such as vitamin C, vitamin A, and vitamin E, and antioxidant phytochemicals such as quercetin, anthocyanidine, and lutein. Well, what can these antioxidants do? When DNA, protein, and fat Are attacked by oxidants, a series of pathophysiological reactions will follow. For instance, when phospholipids on the cell membranes are attacked by oxidants, the cell membranes will lose their elasticity and become very brittle. So they are very easy to break. Oxidants involve in the process of many disease development, including cardiovascular diseases. And cancer, antioxidants, on the other hand, can neutralize free radicals, oxidants, so they lose their ability to attack. Antioxidants can also regulate enzymes that make or deactivate oxidants, and lead to decreased oxidant formation and increased oxidant deactivation. The end result is. Decreased total oxidative stress to the body, because of the biochemical properties of antioxidants, foods that are rich in antioxidants have anti-cancer and anti-aging health benefits. Now let's compare the antioxidant content between blueberries and apples with the same amount of fruit. Blueberries and apples have very similar amount of sugar, but blueberries contain far more vitamin C, vitamin E, quercetin, anthocyanidins, and lutein. Does that mean blueberries are a much stronger antioxidant fruit than apples? Should we put blueberries on our plate every day? I think one of Dr. Ri Hai Lu's Food chemistry experiment is perfect to answer these questions. Dr. Liu compared the antioxidant effect between four fruits: blueberries, apples, grapes, and oranges. I put、uh, the link to Dr. Liu's article below. Now let's take a look at one of the graphs in this article. The x-axis represents the amount of fruit. The y-axis represents the antioxidant effect. For each fruit, the larger the amount of fruit, the stronger the antioxidant effect. Indeed, blueberries are the strongest antioxidant fruit among the four. But if we look at the line that represents the mixed fruit, we will see that just 200 grams of the mixed fruit offers. The same level, if not higher, antioxidant effect as 1,000 grams of blueberries. That is roughly about one cup of mixed fruit versus more than two pounds of blueberries. This experiment tells us that a variety of fruits provide nutrients and phytochemicals that are complementary to each other. When working together, produce A much stronger antioxidant effect in a much efficient way. Also, many clinical studies also suggest that this synergistic effect between different fruits also exists between different vegetables and between different vegetables and fruits. Not just the quantity of vegetables and fruit intake, their diversity also provides protective. Effect against cardiovascular diseases and cancer. Let's also take a look at at another article、uh, in the Journal of Breast Cancer Research and Treatment. 
BRCA gene mutation is a significant risk for breast cancer. The diversity of vegetables and fruit intake is protective against BRCA gene-related breast cancer risks. Another article in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition reported among BRCA gene-negative Korean women, those who consumed more diverse types of vegetables had much lower risks of breast cancer. Are blueberries a super healthy food? Of course, yes. But is eating blueberries every day a good indicator of a healthy diet? Based on the available evidence, eating a variety of fruits and vegetables is a much better indicator of a healthy dietary pattern. If we wanted to enhance the antioxidant effect of blueberries or any other fruits or vegetables, we should add other varieties to it instead of eating one type of fruit or vegetables. Thanks for watching. Please leave comments and questions. I will bring you more integrative medicine topics very soon.